In this video presentation I shall discuss the extract based questions and their answers from my mother at 66 by Kamaladi A.S. Now my dear students, I welcome you to my educational channel. The name of my educational channel is Priyanka Dutta. Here you will find video presentations on English language and literature of school level, college level as well as of competitive examinations. Now let us move to the main focus of this video presentation. Extract number 1. Driving from my parents' home in Cochin last Friday slash morning, I saw my mother beside me, doors open mouthed, her face ashen like that slash of a corpse. Where was the poet going? Answer. The poet was going to Cochin Airport. How did the poet's mother doze? Answer. The poet's mother dozed with her mouth open. What does the word ashen mean? Answer. The word ashen means pale and lifeless like ash. What is the figure of speech used in the phrase her face ashen like that slash of a corpse? Answer. The figure of speech used in the phrase her face ashen like that slash of a corpse is simile. Extract number 2. And realized with pain slash that she was as old as she looked, but soon slash put that thought away, and looked out. What did the poet realize with pain? Answer. The poet realized with pain that her mother was as old as she looked. Which thought did the poet's mother put away? Answer. The poet's mother put the thought away that there was no difference between the appearance and reality so far as the age of her mother was concerned. What does the verb put away mean? Answer. The verb put away means kept aside. What does the verb looked out suggest? Answer. The verb looked out suggests that the poet wants to divert her attention from her inner world to the external world. Extract number 3. Looked out at young slash trees sprinting, the merry children spilling slash out of their homes, but after the airport slash security check, standing a few yards slash away. Where was the poet's mother standing during the security check? Answer. The poet's mother was standing a few yards away from her. What did the poet look at? Answer. The poet looked at the sprinting of young trees and the running away of children from their homes. Why does the poet use capital letters in young trees? Answer. The poet uses capital letters to personify them because of their capacity of sprinting. To what are children compared through the verb spilling out? Answer. Through the verb spilling out the poet compares children to a liquid substance. Extract number 4. I looked again at her. 1. Pale as a late winter's moon, and felt that old slash familiar ache, my childhood fear. What did the poet feel? Answer. The poet felt the fear which she had in her childhood and it was related to the death of her mother. How did the poet's mother appear when she looked again at her? Answer. When the poet looked at her mother, she appeared wan and pale. Why did the poet compare her mother to late winter's moon? Answer. The poet compared her mother to late winter's moon because she looked as pale and devoid of vitality as late winter's moon. What is referred to here as childhood fear? Answer. The fear that the poet will lose her mother is referred to here as childhood fear. Extract number 5. But all I said was, see you soon, on my comma slash and all I did was smile and smile and smile. What did the poet say to her mother? Answer. The poet told her mother that she would see her soon, who is referred to as Amma. Answer. The poet's mother is referred to as Amma. What does the word but suggest? Answer. The word but suggests that what the poet said and did was the opposite of what she had intended to say and do. Why did the poet smile? Answer. The poet smiled because she did not want to show her mother her fear of not seeing her alive in her next visit to her parents' house. Before concluding this video presentation I request you to subscribe my channel, to put forward.